And hello again. Welcome back. We are playing the Sacred Rings. This is Dennis. I am Tan Stahl of the Paleo Gamer, and I am your host. All right. If you last remember, Umang has been running around trying to do jobs for the people in the four worlds. Mostly this seems to be trying to get the right kind of medicine for Sera and stealing a bunch of stuff for the Fairy Reina. Now, we had fixed Sarah's medicine, it didn't work, and we found we had to add another thing to it. And we have just given that to Sarah, but she told us to wait a while and come back to her later. So that's what we've been doing, we've been waiting to come back to Sarah. Uh, we have to go do some more things first, so let's get back to it. In fact, why don't we start by... I said we've been going to the four worlds, we've actually only gone to three of the four worlds. Let's go take a look at the fourth world and see what's there. The fourth world, the one we haven't been to yet, is right here. This was a kind of a gloomy place, and oh look, the thing didn't turn around when it got here. That's the first time that's happened. We actually can't do much here yet. We just have to go up to the gate, and not the big gate, the little gate, and try to go in. Where are you going? I just wanted to look at the graves. Best to let the dead lie in peace. You shouldn't be here. But I just... Go away! I don't like to repeat myself. Yeah, people in these four worlds are a lot less helpful than most people who things we're dealing with. It's kind of a strange thing. Oh well. Let's see if anybody can tell us what's up with the Undertaker here. And so let's go talk to Nicole. Oh, now it turns around. Should know something, so why don't we ask? Lovely day, isn't it, Nafal? Spare me the pleasantries, Umang. What do you want? Well, I was at the cemetery, and. And Salan, the gravedigger, wouldn't let you in. How did you know? He doesn't let anyone in there. Well, no one but Bird, the executioner. The land's afraid of him. What does Fur do at the cemetery? His son's ashes are buried there. Fur goes to visit every night. Salan isn't much of a conversationalist, is he? Not many people to talk to in a cemetery. Salan only leaves that place when he needs to retrieve the body of someone who has died. He's a bit odd in the head, that one. Someone who has died. That gives me an idea. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just thinking out loud. Probably not a good idea. Oh man. I mean, I know you were just thinking, and I know it's beginner's luck, but still. All right. We're going to go back and talk to the Grave Digger again. What do you want? 
Sarah. It's Sarah. Sarah who? Nafal's wife. What about her? She's been ill. So? Her illness grew worse, and now... Now what? She... she didn't... Has she died? I... I think so. Funny. I always thought Nafal would be the first to go. Oh, uh, I guess we all did. Well, I can't stand here talking. I gotta pick up the body. That's my job, after all. Yeah, I mean, I think some people are going to be a little mad at you after that little deception, but... Yeah. Okay. Have to do bad things for a good cause? Was that what you were telling Reyna? Alright, we just go down this path. And when we come to this big statue here in the middle, go around it and keep going kind of to the right. Now it looks like we're going to this tomb. We're actually not. We're going to this one. Now over here, there's some writing on the wall. This is the ancient language of the keepers. A dumb person wrote these letters, and a blind person read them. A mute person repeated them. I think they mean dumb in the sense of unable to speak, same as mute. It was probably a deaf person they wanted. What we have here is we have these tiles in this thing with a lever. But the lever won't move. Now, the thing is, someone who's deaf, dumb, or blind can't see any symbols. So we take them out. And that lets us into this room. Now, it looks like something from Gallifrey or something. Okay. All we're doing here is we're about to do a bit of grave robbing. We need this spear. Don't ask why, we just need that spear. It's a little odd, there's nothing that indicates I should come here and get that thing, it's just standard adventure game logic of stealing everything that moves, or isn't moving. Okay, here's a statue, that statue we came past earlier. Now I'm going to go on off to this side. until I get to this particular tomb. Now we'll worry about those candles and all in a minute. What I'm going to do right now is down here, I want to take the phosphorus we took from Reyna's house. Now I just have to wait for the execution. We're going to take that phosphorus and put it on the ground there. And wait for Ferd to show up. In an unrelated cutscene. The best warriors in my clan. And you can't take care of one unarmed boy? My lord. Silence! I don't want excuses. I want that boy. If Umen's head isn't lying at my feet within five days, your head will. Now be gone! Talk to me, Guggen. Dorad sends word that it is becoming difficult for him to maintain a position of power in the Keeper's clan. He asks for assistance. Damn! Bloody tetrahedrons! Okay, I have no idea why that particular cutscene plays right there. It seems unrelated to anything. I guess they just wanted to get that information to us. Okay. We now have to get into this tomb. The way we get into this tomb is we deal with these little candles here. Now if I click on a candle, you see the other candles will light up at random. Now the way we solve this is notice that this candle, candles come in three sizes. There's short candles, there's medium candles, and there's tall candles. And candles burn different colors, like this one's burning blue, that one's burning blue again, that one's turning yellow. And notice that the sides of the box they're in are colors. There's yellow, red, green, and blue, same as the colors. Now, we have to light these candles in a particular sequence, at which point they stay lit. 
The sequence is based on the length of the candle and the color around it. This is a short candle and it's green, so it means the next candle that I need to light is one in the green direction. This is red in short, one in the red direction. That's medium size, so two in the red direction, one in the green direction, two in the yellow direction, one in the blue direction. And if we just keep doing this, activating the proper distance towards each um, color as it comes up, eventually we will get all of the candles lit. That's three, that's one, that's three. That lets us inside. Now down here we have a lot of urns where presumably ashes are. But we don't know which one we need. That's what we put the phosphorus in the ground for. And what I think is odd is we had to know to put the phosphorus on the ground before we got in here to see what we're supposed to do. So I come here and I pull this lever. That turns out the lights. And now the phosphorus up under the ground shows me that Ferd obviously went to there. So now I know where to go. Turn the lights back on again. I can find the lever. There it is. And this is what I need. Yes. All right. Now we can go back. Now remember, the Grave Digger is probably not real happy with us right now. So we're going to have to dodge him. Which I think the Fall and Sarah are probably going to be mad at us too, since I basically said Sarah was dead. Yeah, here comes the Undertaker. Let's dodge him. I need to hide somewhere. Over here looks good. There's a thing hiding a lot in this world. All right. Now we're ready to go. Now I have the two things that Raina wanted. Remember, she wanted me to bring her the ash bird son's ashes, and she wanted me to bring her the book of alchemy. So why don't I go give those to her now? Can, that odd delay can only be going from the Undertaker to Alright. Let's go talk to Raina. Because we have things she wants. Oops, there we go. Let's start by giving her the book. What does a kind fairy want with this book? You are even wiser than I had imagined. Finally, I have something to do during the long, rainy evenings. So she's just bored. Okay, we also have the urn with the ashes. Here are the ashes of the executioner's son, as you asked. I can see that. Okay, then... What is it that you want from me? I need the sign of the Shadow Legion, and in order to get it, I must meet the Executioner, Ferd. Fine. I will assist you. Go to Ferd now. Thank you, Reyna. Run along, dear boy. I'm sure we shall meet again. I'm sure we have. I kind of wonder, is Reyna flirting with trying to flirt with Remang here? She's not doing a very good job if she is. And a cutscene is going to play just as soon as we get back on the little roller coaster.
know something's going to be waiting for us when we get there. But in order to talk to Bird, we have to talk to Sarah first. So she has a little glowing sphere that lets us get into the elevator. So let's hope that Sarah's feeling better by now. Fall. Oh look, Sarah's up. How do you feel now? Better? Yes, much better, thanks to you. Here, third should let you in if you have this. It's the same sequence as before. We have to put the sphere on the little thing and play the same sequence of notes again. to see you. Don't just stand there. Come in. I'm Come already in. in. I must tell you, Razan came to me. My son. He has forgiven me, Umang. He says that he understands everything, and he has forgiven me. Ferd, I'd like to talk to you about... Razan, my poor, poor boy. Um, Ferd, I want to ask you... Yes, yes. Razan told me that I should help you. Ask anything you wish. I need the sign of the Shadow Legion. Are you mad? Why do you need the sign? I must go to the Keeper's Palace, to the place of my forefathers. You must be mad indeed, Umang. That place is the lair of the Shadow Legion now. You'll be killed on sight. I'm afraid I don't have a choice. Well, the Legion's sign will allow you to move about undetected for a short while. As long as you don't meet anyone face to face. Even so, it is extremely dangerous. Their warriors are everywhere. Ferd? Yes? You have to help me. You're my only hope. Umang, if I give you the sign, you can never get rid of it. Who knows what will become of you once you have it? I have no choice, Ferd. Okay. If you insist. Uh, there is one thing we must discuss first. My son has asked that you set his beloved Mila's soul free. Mila's soul? Yes. Her soul is trapped in the palace, banished there by the Shadow Legion's magician, Gugan. Promise me that you will set her free, so that she and Razan can be together once again, in the afterlife. Of course, Ferd. I promise. Take this with you. It is Mila's medallion. I found it after I... after Razan died. Perhaps it will help you in your quest. Now what is this Mark of the Shadow Legion, anyway? I mean, I thought it would be like a tattoo or a brand or something on Umang's face, but you never see it. There doesn't seem to be anything. While we're down here, I need to go over here to this table. There's what looks like an envelope here. What is this for? Yeah, that's a good question, Umang. We have to pick this up here. It doesn't really tell us what it is. And as usual, it's going to be at the very end. It just shows some sliders in positions 1, 3, and 4. Or maybe it's upside down in their positions 2, 3, and 5. I don't know. It doesn't look like anything we've seen so far. But, obviously we're going to need that later because they've been in our book. So, 
we're now done here. Now I'm going to make a slight detour before I go to where I need to go next. We have to go to Reyna. Reyna is the person who can help us now. Before we go, I'm going to go back to the main portal and get set up there. So let's go back to the main portal first. back to where the Keeper's Portal was. Or is, or will be, or whatever. There's a lot of running around in here. I don't need to go over to the portal itself yet, I need to go up above. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that spear. Remember the spear that we had that I took from that grave? And put it here. Because if we're going to summon a lightning bolt with 1.21 gigawatts, I need something to conduct the lightning. So now I need to go talk to Reyna and get her to summon lightning for me way over here. I guess I should have asked Nepal if he's having a better time now that his wife no longer has a headache. You have to go to Reyna. Reyna's here. In our last trip on the World of Mystery, I hope everybody's enjoying the What do you want, Dumeng? Reyna, I need to call Lightning. Lightning, he says. Well, I can't imagine why you'd need it. But, why not? Go upstairs and get everything ready. Alright. Yeah, Reyna's down with the Lightning. Now, up here, we have an annoying puzzle. Now, remember how the... We had the different symbols that meant, you know, rain and fog and lightning. That was the symbol for lightning. Now I have to move these idols around. Notice I have a big idol, and a slightly smaller idol, and a next size down. You know, they're like nesting dolls, like those little Russian nesting dolls. What this is, whether you recognize it or not, is a Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Now, they like putting Tower of Hanoi puzzles in this kind of game. Generally, anytime you have a stack of something where things only fit on the stack in a certain order, you know, in this case, the larger statues fit on top of the smaller statues, and you have to move things, so you've got three choices and you have to move them from one to the other, that's a Tower of Hanoi puzzle. 
There is a secret to solving Tower of Hanoi puzzles in the minimum number of moves. I'm going to show you this. You can solve any Tower of Hanoi puzzle in any game this way and it is guaranteed to be in the smallest number of moves. Okay, so let's go through this. What you have to do is assume that these three platforms here are basically connected in a circle. This one connects to this one, this one connects to this one, and then this one connects around back to this one again. So, or the other way around. So we're moving these in order. What I'm going to do is take the topmost one and move it in order to the place that I want them to wind up, in this case, here. I will then take the next topmost one and make the only legal move available to me. Then I will move the topmost one to the next one in order. Then make the only legal move available to me that does not involve that topmost one. In other words, every other turn, the topmost one will just continually circle around. That's all it's going to be doing, every other move. Turns that I do not move it, I make the only legal move available to me without him. So, topmost one, only legal move. Topmost one, only legal move. Topmost one, only legal move. And I just continue doing this. Topmost, only legal move. You see, he just ended up where we need him to be. Topmost, only legal move. Topmost, only legal move. Oops. Topmost, top, only legal move. Topmost, only legal move. Topmost, only legal move. Topmost, only legal move. Topmost, only legal move, and success. Topmost. That was the minimum number of moves possible. That sequence will work for any Tower of Annoy puzzle in any game. Let's go tell Raina we've done it. Meg, I'm impressed. I'll call lightning for you as soon as you are ready. Thank you, Reyna. My pleasure. All right, and we've actually done everything we needed to do. The only other thing we... that was putting the spear up on the top of that statue. So, let's do this. Get back over here, Can okay, You take the um, part when we weren't looking. Yeah, I think Raina kind of has a thing for Umang personally. And how did she know he needed lightning call there? Like I said, 1.21 gigawatts. Or it's going to come flying out of that door for a second. Umang, you have proven that you are truly as worthy as your forefathers. I have been told that there are many warriors in the Keeper's Palace. How do I get inside? In the mountains nearby, there's a cave. Find this cave and follow the tunnels. They lead into the Shadow Legion's lair. Thank you, Michael. Your burden is a heavy one. But the Tetrahedrons will help you in your quest. And remember, Umang, one door may open many passages. It is up to you to decide who takes which passage. Alright, so Umang has now found his way to the Keeper's homeworld, which is under the control of the Shadow Legion. Fortunately, he has the sign of the Shadow Legion, which is apparently invisible or something, because I don't see it on him. But he has to be careful. Yeah, he's going to have trouble getting back. Just, uh, statues are missing here. 
when did he cover his face? But, we're here. We're at the World of the Keepers. And, okay. We're at the World of the Keepers, and we have to go face the Shadow Legion in their own castle now. And we've been doing this for a while, so I'm going to call a stop here for now. When we come back, we will be visiting the castle of the or the palace that used to belong to the keepers and is now the home of the Shadow Legion and see if we can finally defeat them once and for all. So until then, I am Dennis, I am Tan Staffel the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.